Thank you for choosing in for devotions here today. And all this week, we're talking about why we have hope as believers. Now, as you go into prayer with the Lord, this is what I want you to do. I, I really, and I mean this, I, I want you to stop your whining. I mean that. You know, sometimes when we look at life and we say, oh, you know, everything's like really, really bad. <laughs> Listen, we as believers have a lot of things to be thankful for. So today I want to take a look at his purposes transform our problems. Now, yesterday I talked about how we are pardoned of our sins. And if he didn't do anything else for us, we should be happy about that. But if you're having problems right now, I want to let you know that God has a purpose for the problem in which you have. Look, look in Job 14, verse 1. Man who is born of a woman is few of days and full of trouble. Now, I, I wish I had a dollar for the building fund for every person who has said to me, boy, Pastor Mike, I just don't understand why God has permitted me to have all these problems. <laughs> you better get used to it. And the reason why, we live in a sinful world. So let me tell you, when you're having a blessings come along, and when you're in good health, and when you've got some extra money in the bank, I mean, that's like an extra blessing. But those ought not to be the things to make us happy. Now today, I want us to concentrate on when we have problems and trials in our life, that our God has a purpose for that problem. I, I remember one time when I was in college, my wife and I had a miraculous blessing. Well, I went home, and the farmer, who was very, very instrumental in my sp spiritual growth, like a spiritual dad to me, I told him about this wonderful blessing, and he was praising God with me, and he put his hand on my shoulder, and he said, now, Mike, I have something to tell you. He said, right now, you're on the top of the mountain, and that's awesome, and you hang on to this? He said, but... Not long from now, you're going to be down in a deep, dark valley, and you'll always go right back down in there. So I want you to remember this mountaintop experience. Well, he told me that, and I thought, well, that wasn't very nice. I mean, why would you say that? Do you, do you know why he said that? Because it's true. That's why life is full of trouble. Now, look with me. Uh, life is a series of problems, isn't it? I mean, we're either going into trouble or we're coming out of trouble, or we're going back into trouble again. Look, look at Romans 8, 28. It says, now we know that those who love God, all things work together for good. So even the sinful things you did in the past, all those things are being worked by God to be who you are today. And he says here, now for those who are called according to his purpose. Now, Everybody who is a believer is called to live their life on purpose for God. Did you know that God can use you in a greater way when you overcome huge problems? If right now your heart is hurting, if you're like stressed out with just life and, and things you're dealing with, when you turn to God and you overcome that and you can have hope, let, let me take you, you'll spiritually grow through that more than anything else. So today, I want you to have hope that problems that you're having right now, I want you to say, God, I don't understand all this, but I just know this. I know you're in control, and I know you're going to do something great through the things in which I'm experiencing right now at this moment. There has never yet been a man in history that was free from trouble whose name is worth remembering. Isn't this true? I really want you to think about that. Look here in James 1.12. Blessed is the man who remains steadfast. Hey, just keep on track with God. Under trials, when he has stood the test, he is going to receive the crown of life. You'll get that when you get to heaven, which God has promised to those who love him. You know who loves him? Those who are true to God in the midst of their problems. They praise God and they have hope. When even other believers have lost hope, God will give you a special reward for that one day. So look at this. Don't let where you are become a prophecy of where you are going to stay. My friend, listen, you hang on to hope here today. God's not going to leave you where you are right now, but he's going to bring you through to the other side and bless you.